Good morning. I want to encourage you to grab a Bible. Open with me to John's Gospel. I want to read a couple of verses from a story that's very familiar. Many of you have heard about how Jesus raised his friend Lazarus from the dead. And in the middle of that story, before Lazarus is raised, Jesus does something that I want to point to right now as we ask and wrestle with the question, where is God in the middle of a crisis? So here's the scene. Jesus has heard that his friend is sick. He has delayed and then told his disciples that Lazarus has died. And then he's gone to be with the grieving family. As he approaches the tomb, Lazarus' sister confronts him. And I want to pick it up. We're in John chapter 11. I want to pick it up in verse 32. It says, Now when Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet, saying to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And when Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who had come with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in his spirit and greatly troubled. And he said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man also have kept this man from dying? And from this passage, I want to point out two things. First, is it's easy to rush and to try to guess at God's purposes when disaster strikes. But I think it's wiser to pause and to grieve with those who are grieving. I think it's wise to recognize Jesus knows full well what he's about to do. And the agony of suffering causes him to break down in tears. And so it's fitting for us to mourn and to grieve the losses that are real. Before we try to rush to say the hope that we have in Christ, we ought to comfort one another by recognizing the pain that so many are experiencing. That's the first thing. The second thing that I want to point out is that Jesus does have a purpose here. And I can't speak to the purpose that God has in every situation. I can't possibly know that. But we can trust this. That when Jesus made these choices and allowed his friend to die so that he could raise him from the dead, so that people would know who he was, that would know his great power and trust in him for ultimate salvation, we can know that God has a good purpose in everything that he does. But I want to encourage you, even as you take comfort in that thought, to be faithful to the biblical command to grieve with those who grieve. So let's pray for a moment for those who are in grief. Our Father in heaven, Lord, there are thousands of people around the world who have died, and there are tens of thousands who are sick. And I ask that you, the God of all comfort, would provide us comfort now. I pray especially that we would find hope in Jesus Christ. I pray that millions of people would place their faith in Jesus Christ, knowing your love and your compassion. And I ask this in the name of Jesus, our Savior, who loved us and died in our place. Amen.